，释迦心和无迦心的这个是修心啊，就对很多人来说就是有点枯燥啊，所以就是很多人不相修，嗯，不相修这个释迦心和无迦心。啊，然后有些人呢，觉得这个四加亲和五加亲就是就是一个基础的修法啊，就他们认为不值得花这么多的时间啊，下这么大的功夫去做这些事情啊，因为这些都是很基础的东西，所以很多人就想直接啊去修大圆满大手印啊。然后呢，修了很多年，最后没有任何的结果，没有任何结果。为什么？因为，他没有基础啊，没有基础的话，我们大家都知道的，做任何事情都必须要有基础啊，基础的工作做好，然后啊。什么事情都能够成功啊！基础都没有做好的话，任何一个事情都是一样的啊！做不好的不会有成果，所以呢，我们学佛修心也是啊，也是也是这个道理。如果把这个假行啊，也就是基础没有做好，直接去修大圆满大手印啊。那是没有用的。如果没有这个，呃，没有按照这个这个顺序走的话，那是没有用的。So the four outer preliminaries and the five inner preliminaries are practices that many people regard as a bit dry and boring. They don't want to complete them. Other people regard them as extremely basic, and for this reason, not worthy of investing a great deal of time and effort in completing. And so, for this reason, many people、um, want、uh, hope to directly、um, practice、uh, dzogchen or mahamudra. However. People who、um, follow this approach may practice、uh, dzogchen and mahamudra for many years, and、uh, yet find themselves not having any result whatsoever. And the reason for this is.、Um, That the these people lack a proper foundation for their practice. They do not have a proper foundation.、Um, any task that we engage in,、uh, we need to、um, first pave the proper foundations. And if we are able to do this, then we will、um, have success in what we are doing. However, if we don't have a proper foundation, then it's not possible for us to reap success. It's not possible for us to see results. It's the, exactly the same principle with Buddhist practice. If、uh, we don't make a establish a proper foundation for our practice and directly go on to high practices, then this is a useless approach.、Um, that is, it's a useless approach not to follow the proper order or sequence of practice. 学佛啊，有。很多不同的级别啊，有高级的，有低级的，有很多不同的级别。然后这些不同的级别的这个学佛啊，他们的结果也是不一样的啊。所以我们要不要修这个无加心、四加心，就是要看我们需要有什么样的结果。如果我们需要有一个真悟空行，然后从这个轮回当中获得解脱，解决自己的生老病死的问题啊，需要这种结果的话，那是必须要修四加行和五加行，没有这其他的路，就是要修一步一步的修。In terms of Buddhist practice, there are many different levels. There are advanced levels, there are low levels, and、um, uh, with these different levels are also different or corresponding、uh, different results. So whether or not we decide to complete the、uh, preliminary practices really depends on what results we hope to gain from our practice, and if we 
hope to realize emptiness and um, attain liberation from cyclic existence and uh, resolve the sufferings of um, birth, degeneration, aging, and illness, then uh, and death, then we must practice the preliminaries. There is no other path aside from this. They need to be completed one step at a time. 当然如果我们只求一个平安求佛求一个保佑这样子的话那当然不需要修四家心五家心这都不需要的可以不修就是求人天佛成人天佛教人天佛教呢它不需要处理心菩提心政务空心这些都不需要的然后它的结果呢也是很简单只是我们这一时下一时再下一时不多低于不多恶鬼每一世都能够做人或者是可以做田人相受可以相受人天的福报但是生老病死的问题解决不了然后就是我们的生活当中的很多很多的烦恼也解决不了这个是没有办法解决但是方法也就是要求不够方法也简单不需要修那么多也不需要修也不需要学那么多所以学佛就是走那一条路However, if it is only um, a peaceful life, good fortune, and protection from adversity that we seek from Buddhism, then it is not necessary that we um, complete the preliminary practices. It's um, okay if these are our goals for us to um, simply practice Buddhism at a level that corresponds with the worldly vehicle or the vehicle of humans and gods. This is a level or an approach to to, um, Buddhist uh, practice that doesn't require renunciation, cultivating bodhicitta, or realizing emptiness. Um, the result of this kind of approach to Buddhism, however, is also very basic. Um, it uh, essentially just ensures um, in our future lives to come that we won't descend to the lower realms and will continually um, attain a rebirth in the human realm or in the realm of the worldly gods and enjoy the good fortune of a human rebirth and so on. However, uh, with this approach to practice, it's not possible for us to transcend cyclic existence. It's not possible to resolve the, uh, resolve the various kinds of suffering that we experience in cyclic existence. Um, nevertheless, the requirements for this kind of practice are uh, very simple. So which path we decide to take really depends on our own individual choices.